Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an HP touchpad running Google Android 4.0 with CyanogenMod Mod 9 Alpha 0 0.6, which is a relatively minor update from Alpha 0 0.5, but it does include a couple of new features and bug fixes. Now I wanted to show you a couple of those uh, new features. So for instance, there's now a scrollable area here for the quick settings. In some ways it means that it takes a little bit longer to get to certain things like the brightness control, but um, overall it takes up less space than it would otherwise, so that's kind of a nice feature. There's also the beginning of a new Cyanogen Mod settings area here, and so you can see that there's a couple of different settings that we have access to now. Um, you can auto hide the uh, combined bar down here at the bottom when doing full screen applications and access a couple of other settings in here. Some of these things literally just say uh, it's a stub at this point. Um, so when you go to themes, for instance, it's just a stub. So there's no actual theming capabilities, but eventually there will be. And another thing which seems like a kind of little thing, but is actually really, really nice here, is that when you press and hold the power button, you now have some more options. It used to be that it was just an option to shut down the tablet. Now you can choose to turn the power off, to reboot the tablet, take a screenshot, enable airplane mode, turn the volume on or off, and apparently doing that makes the menu go away. Um, so we can enable or disable silent mode, or vibration, and so forth. So um, the screenshot capability is kind of interesting because it's actually built into Android that you can take a screenshot by pressing and holding the power and volume buttons. But you can also now do that by taking the screenshot button. Um, so it's a little bit easier sometimes than hitting two buttons at once, perhaps. Um, as for the reboot options, we can reboot just directly. We can reboot into recovery, or we can reboot to the bootloader. And so when we do that, It'll shut down the tablet, and now it will uh, go either to Clockwork Mod or uh, Moboot, depending on what you told it to do. Okay, well technically I would have expected it to go to Moboot at that point, but um, for some reason it did go into Clockwork Mod. But you can reboot directly to this instead of going straight to the Moboot menu and, and having to choose from there. We can reboot Recovery, and the last time I did this it actually did take us straight to Moboot. Right, so from here then you can choose whether you want to boot into WebOS, Clockwork Mod, Cyanogen Mod, Reboot, or Shut Down. So that is a quick look at Cyanogen Mod 9 Alpha 0.6 running on the HP touchpad tablet. It's, um, it's a small update, but it does make the tablet a little bit easier to use, especially if you uh, need to reboot regularly, uh, want more access to certain settings, and so forth. So this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a quick look at the uh, HP touchpad tablet running the latest software. It's um, available for download for uh, free from the RootsWiki forum, and you can find instructions on how to install it, uh, both at RootsWiki and more detailed step-by-step -step instructions with uh, photos at lilliputing.com. I have a guide for how to install Android when you've got a touchpad that's just running WebOS, or a uh, guide for upgrading from earlier versions of Android to Android uh, to uh, CyanogenMod 9 Alpha 0 0.6.